Now, some folks might be wondering, well, are progressive web apps just like a Chrome only thing? Or are they a Google only thing? And the answer is absolutely not. Progressive web apps work on, you know, they're increasingly working well in Firefox, and Edge, Opera, Samsung Internet Browser. Uh, this, the APIs uh, that I mentioned enabling some of these experiences are getting better and better support. And even if a browser that you care about isn't on this list just yet, progressive web apps give better experiences to folks even if their platform of choice doesn't necessarily support all of the features. That's what the progressive part in there is about. It's about progressive enhancement. To give you one example, um, let's take Lancome. Uh, they're a luxury cosmetics brand. They built an engaging, immersive progressive web app that works really great on all browsers. And they've, they've seen some solid results, but there was a slight difference here. Um, most of their mobile users, over 65%, are on iPhones. They're on higher-end phones. And as we know, you know, Safari um, on iPhones doesn't necessarily support all the exact set of features that a progressive web app might need, like service workers, just yet. However, what Lamcom discovered was the session length for iOS users actually increased after shipping their progressive web app. Some of the same concepts around trying to ship something that enables a better user experience, that's granularly served down, that's fast, that's reliable, benefit people even if they don't necessarily support all of the same re-engagement features or the same benefits for repeat visits with respect to caching. So even if you care about a slightly different browser support matrix, progressive web apps can still be a win for you.